All right, we're ready for the tip. And we're off and started. Springs wins the tap. Kicked out of Wagner. No, I got it. Springs ball baseline inbound. Inbound top of the key. First basket to St. Mary Springs, three pointer. Bolts with the rebound over the top, back out to Kramer. And the shot over to St. Mary Springs. Nobody back for the Huskies. Layup, St. Mary Springs. So a quick 5 nothing lead for the Ledgers. Half court pressure defense, man to man. And a turnover for the Huskies. Student section a little thin tonight. The girls are also playing tonight at Howard's Grove, so we'll try and get some score updates now and then on that game as well. Springs out to a quick 5 nothing lead. Again, Springs taking advantage of their size down low. Bolts with the rebound. Kramer down the lane. Passes the balls in the post. Nice footwork. Beautiful footwork, and the Huskies are on the board. 5 2. Huskies just a step slow on defense already tonight. By ball. That's going to be a tough matchup for the Huskies. Conrad's not got the foot speed of Mall. Three pointer long for the Huskies. Rebound Lucas. Lucas down the lane, stolen by Wagner. Wagner's got Kramer on the wing. Kramer out for a three. On the way, no good. Rebound Baltz, no good. Those you got to make. The ledger ball on the baseline. 
tapped out by the Huskies. Caden Pitts for two. Nine two ledgers. Kramer short on the layup. Rebound ledgers off and running again. Huskies get back and stop the ball. It's actually going to be ledger ball off a Husky foot. Into the game for the ledgers, Ben Anderson. And number four, Max Bauer, return. Nice ball moving penetration by the Ledgers, but rebounded by Bolts. The Huskies are up on the run. Bolts down the lane. Nice shoot from Cranley. The Huskies cut it to five. He's leaking out. Kramer with the steal. Going all the way. And Paul stuffs it. Puts it in the third row. Kramer didn't get into the into the body at all. He, he stopped like he was afraid it was going to get blocked. And that's what called, caused the block. Got to go strong to the hoop. Nice inbound pass to Bolts. He's called to go to the line for two. Bolt short on the first. Two Baker returns to the ledger lineup. Second free throw by Bolts is good. 9 5 ledgers. 13 32 to go first half. Ledgers just driving the ball on offense. And dribble penetration everywhere. Bolts with the deflection, but back to the ledgers. Hard fall on Bauer underneath. He'll go to the line for two. <laughs> Burns into the Husky lineup, replacing Conrad. Bauer at the line for the second. Second free throw rims out, rebounded by Bolts. Kramer's got Burns on the way. Kramer right down the lane for two. Banks it in. Huskies cut the lead to three.
jump ball. To be possession Huskies. Opening tap went to the Springs. Ethan Hankey into the game for the Huskies. Kramer down the lane, loses it in the lane. Gets back. Wagner falls on the way up. He'll get two. So after a slow start, Huskies getting back into the game. Matching up a little bit better on defense. They got to stop the dribble penetration of the Ledgers. First is up and good. Second free throw on the way for Wagner, rims out. Ledger's pushing it up. Good ball stopped by Hankey on the help. Still, the Huskies half a step short on defense, allowing too much dribble penetration. And we're going to have a fall on Kramer. Into the lineup for the Ledgers, John Kuhn and Max Moll. Second team fall on the Huskies. Nobody in foul trouble. Only two team falls each, 11.45 to go. Three-pointer long, rebounded by Kramer among the trees. Hankey over to Burns. Skip pass to Wagner. Burns down the lane. Good shot, got to take that shot. Ooh, that was an interesting pirouette. Jump ball, be possession, Ledgers. 10-8 early on. Re-entering for the Huskies, Kate Bolts. Replaces Mason Schmitz. Nice steal. Hanky with the deflection, Bolts with the steal. Kramer for three. Online good. Huskies take the lead on a Kramer three pointer. Oh, Hanky didn't see Kramer, had, to, had him on the fast break. Wagner for three, just long. Husky's doing better getting back on defense. Wagner with the steal. Back to Wagner down the lane. And he gets the ball call. A little bit late on the whistle. If that went in, it might not have been a foul. But Wagner will go to the line for two. We got a timeout. Time out, uh, Ledgers. I'd like to thank our sponsors tonight, Isaac's Sports Bar and Grill. Again, excellent lunch specials there every day. Stop in and see Isaac and the gang. Travis's Turf and Landscaping, all you people in the Holstein that have had these guys out, they've been out from before dawn till almost midnight, shoveling and plowing, getting that, that snow removed. And, uh, luckily, they should be getting a little bit of a break now that... Uh, the freezing temperature set in and there's no heavy snow in the forecast. So thanks to Travis Turf and Landscaping for getting all those driveways cleared. And then the Holstein Booster Club. Still looking for uh, people to help out with the concession stands. We've got about a month to go in the basketball season. They're still 
dates available. You don't have to be a parent or even a booster club member to work the concession stand. We're looking for volunteers. It's easy to become a member. Wagner at the line. First free throw is a little long. Checking into the game for the Huskies, number 23, Conrad. He'll replace Burns. Wagner at the line for the second. That's good. Put the Huskies up too. So after a slow start, Huskies are fighting back, back in the ball game. Nice block underneath by Hanky. It's a three-pointer by Ball. Gives the Legends a lead. Bolts in the post. Just keeps working down there. Gets called for the three seconds. Just giving Bolts credit for keeping working in there, but maybe worked a little too long. He's got that shot. He's got to take it. Two-pointer for the Legends. Pitts on the basket. Steal by the Ledgers. And a boom. Yeah, we might have got a break on that one. Huskies get away with a Kramer fall there, but no call. Huskies just don't have the athlete to match up with Maul. He's getting penetration whenever he wants, no matter who the Huskies put on on defense. Three-pointer long. Oh, Yankee boxed this guy up, but didn't go get the ball. Ball for three. Good. Oh, he's got to find an answer for him. It's going to be a long night. Wagner with the turnover. Ball brings it up. Another open three for the Ledgers. Good. Number one, Sam Lucas with the three. And it's a timeout, Huskies. So for those of you that you know enjoy the girls game, we have a girls basketball game coming up Friday night, January 26th. Um, not a lot of home games this week. After that, we have... The Holstein Wrestling here, the conference meet, is on February 3rd. And we're back into basketball. We have the girls here at home versus Mantuak Ron Colley on Tuesday, February 6th. So a busy week coming up next week. This week, only one home game. Lots of road games for the Huskies this week. Like I said the girls are in Howard's Grove tonight. If anybody has a score update on the girls' game, feel free to text it in. We'll put it out over the air. And again, we'd like to thank our sponsors. If you want to be a new sponsor, contact Jason Hurth, the athletic director at the high school. Any money gained for sponsorship doesn't go to the announcers. That's all volunteer time. It goes back into the into the basketball program. All right, reset. Springs on a 11-0 run. 8.26 left. Spring showing some full court pressure. Man to man. Kind of token pressure. Kramer walks through it. He loses the ball after he gets through it. Ball with the steal bringing it up for the Ledgers. Three pointer on the way. No good rebound, Bolts. Bolts using his backside to create some space there. And an unforced air double dribble on the Huskies. Been a game of spurts. Yeah. 
Good dribble penetration. Foul's going to be on Wagner. We'll send number 10, John Kuhn, to the line. First foul on Wagner. Yeah, neither team with anybody in foul trouble with eight minutes to go in the first half. Kuhn second on the way and good. 13-0 run for the Ledgers. Now they're back into the full court trap defense. Wagner had the lane, passed it out to Kramer. We're going to get a hand check foul on the Ledgers. Be the team fifth foul. Husky ball side court. Good rebound bolts out to Wagner, open three on the way, just short. Be ledger ball. Good, good shot by Wagner. There had an open look, got to take it. Good by number 11, Tyler Hoffman. Wagner down the lane blocked by Hoffman. Yep, offensive foul. Nice job by Burns getting his body in front on the fast break. That's how you stop that dribble penetration. You got to take that charge. Thank you for three. Good. Breaks a 16-0 run for the Ledgers. Huskies continue to let the Ledgers get right into the lane on their penetration. Ball for two around balls. 28-15. Over six minutes left to go. It's going to be a foul on the Ledger's number three, Ben Anderson. His first, team sixth. Well, the Huskies will be in the bonus for the last 6.15. They keep driving to the hoop. Maybe we'll get some free throws. Wagner inbounds to Kramer. Nice pass down the lane to Baltz. Ran into some traffic, no call. Rebound ledgers. Basket by Kuhn for the ledgers, right down the lane. He's moving the ball around well, looking for that open shot. Balls for three. Just long. Rebound ball. Three-pointer on the way, and good. Number three, Ben Anderson for three. Kramer down the lane with the floater. Good. Out of bounds to the Huskies. Conrad and Schmitz back into the game for the Huskies. 
Huskies like to see a little run here, see if they can get it under 10 at halftime. Right now they're down 16. Turnover Huskies. Nice block by Hanky. Conrad down the lane. Rolls in. Conrad got to get around mole. Good entry pass there by the Springs, and not much Wagner could do but take a fall there. Second on Wagner, fourth on the team. Could give it to the Ledger's baseline. No doubt in my mind that one was going to go up. Maybe they got him before he got the motion. Four minutes to go first half. Huskies trail by 14. Conrad with a good effort there. Conrad on Moldo is not, not the match with the Huskies want. And Conrad fights for the rebound and draws a foul. Oh, draws a jump ball. But it'll be Husky ball. Burns back into the game for the Huskies. Alt's baseline. Burns for three. No good. Rebound balls go up. Conrad fighting for the rebound. Gets it over to Schmitz. Gets over to Kramer. Huskies just need to take their time and reset here. Kramer in the lane. No good. And rebounded by Ledgers. Blocked by Bolt. Under three to go, first half. Conrad down the lane, can't get it to roll. Nice rebound by St. Mary Springs. Burns cuts off the penetration again. Three-pointer good. Number three, Ben Anderson. His second three-pointer of the night. Turnover Huskies. Nice pass and layup for the Ledgers. Quick five for the Ledgers there. Unforced turnovers for the Huskies. Burns down the lane. Mall gets called for the foul. Burns will go to the line for two. Up and good for Burns. Gets the Huskies over the 20 mark. Thirty-four, Luke Schwartz in for Mo. Yeah, Burns makes good on the pair. Thirty-eight twenty-one springs under two to go. First half. Huskies again allowing brings easy access to the lane, which then opens up threes on the kick. Steal by Bolts. Yeah. 
Kramer down the lane. Five ledgers converge. He gets it out of there. Bolts in the post. Stolen by the ledgers. Good call there by Kramer. Kramer will pick up his second, and the ledgers will go to the line. But that was going to be a layup, so make him earn it. Correction, only the fifth team fall on the Huskies. 17 falls on the Ledgers. Even better fall by Kramer. Rebound by Bolts. Under a minute to go. Huskies just looking for a basket to build a little momentum going into the second half. Burns in the lane and falls. He go to the line for two. First free throw short. Hoon back in for the Ledgers. Burns makes good on the second. Ledger short. Rebound to the Huskies. Conrad has it. 25 to go first half. Three players converge on Schmitz and get the steal. Kramer steals it right back. He's got Bolts underneath. And Bolts finishes strong for the Huskies. Long three for the Ledgers, just short. Your halftime score tonight from the Holstein. Ledgers 38, Huskies 24. You should have a performance by the dance team tonight. Put the graphic up for now. I believe we have the dance team coming out. Here comes the dance team. They've been uh, piling up trophies this year at different competitions. And they have their regional competition this weekend. So come on out and support the dance team.
That's your New Holstein High School dance team. That's Ella, Skyla, Sage, Lily, Laura, Bella, Carmen, Jaslyn, and Adrian. Coached by Kylie Brock. Three, nine, one, three,
Okay, Huskies are coming back out for second half action. Started off a little bit slow. Huskies went on a run, got ahead 12 to 10, but then a 28 to 12 run to end the first half. Too many turnovers again for the Huskies. Too many, too many trips without getting a shot. And I'd like to see the Huskies shot chart on the year. How many shots they take versus the competition. Just need to get good shots, make good shots. Their, their defense tonight, allowing too much dribble penetration and wide open threes for the ledgers. So that's the story of the first half. Hopefully the Huskies can turn it around here in the second half. Again, thanks to our sponsors, Isaacs, Travis's Turf and Landscaping, and the Holsty Booster Club. Booster Club made some nice halftime popcorn tonight. I appreciate that. And we're back to action with the Ledger's Day inbound. First basket goes to the Ledger's. Like the girls game got a little bit of a later start tonight. We're just underway. Offensive foul called on the Huskies Kramer. That'll be his third. So a little bit of foul trouble. We are in the second half, but early second half to be picking up a third foul. Hankey with the rebound and pushed out of bounds by number 23, Pitts. Hankey getting a start in the second half for the Huskies. It's only the first foul on Pitts. So. Kramer down the lane. Up, oh, no good. Rebound, Mull. And wide open three in the corner for the Springs. No good. Bounce tips it over to Schmitz. Wagner, every part of the rim, but can't get her to go down. The second violation on St. Mary's Springs. Back to the Husky ball. Early on, second half, pretty even game going. Down. Huskies just had that one bad stretch in the first half. There was a 16 0 ledger run. Nice defense there by Mo. Three ball on the way short. Balls for the. Good effort on the rebound there. Just so he didn't get called for over the back. Hits down the lane, can't finish. Springs right. Nice pass by Mall into the post, but they don't finish either. A lot more up and down game in the second half. The travel called on Hanky. Two empty trips in a row for the Huskies. Got to get a shot. All for three, long, rebound Wagner. 
Wagner had a good defensive position, possession there. Hankey out to Schmitz for three. Good. The Huskies cut it to 10. Waltz with the block. Nice play by Hankey to get the rebound. Huskies have a guy in the middle. Nice. Nice move by Bolts. And he gets a trip to the line. First one's up and good. Second rolls out. Over St. Mary Springs. So the Huskies down nine, chance to cut her to seven, maybe six with a three. And timeout St. Mary Springs. Good timeout by the coach. Momentum was shifting the Huskies' way. And he's going to regather the troops. A 30 second timeout. Just enough time to talk about the yummy sandwiches up at Isaac's. Travis's Turf and Landscaping is a sponsor tonight. They can get Hunter out of playing dartball and actually out with a shovel. And the Booster Club tonight is uh, got the concession stand running full speed. You want to be a sponsor? Contact Jason at the high school. Springs out in a pressure zone defense here. One three one trap, and the Huskies turn it over. Layup, legend. Gets out the hanky for three. Good. Must be straight three to two. Back door. And a foul on Bolts. That'll send number 10, John Kuhn, to the line for St. Mary Springs. Makes the first. Into the game for the Ledgers. 23 Caden Spitz. <laughs> the last Husky three was just changed to a two for Hanky. It's now 43-33. At the free throw, no good rebound ledgers. And Baltz gets it on the second rebound. Three on the way for Kramer. Good. Husky did two threes in a row. Big defensive possession here for the Huskies.
three ball on the way for Springs. No good. And rebounded and put back into the foul. Good picks. Huskies had two guys there fighting over the rebound. Neither could control. Back into the lineup for the Ledgers. Tyler Hoffman. Three throws good. Ledger's coming out with a little bit more man-to-man pressure. Kramer takes it all the way to the hole for two. Huskies, when they get shots, are doing well. They just got to get shots. grab the rebound. Baltz with the steal. Baltz baseline. Okay. The Huskies cut it to six. Now they need a defensive stop to get over the hump. They've been stuck in this six to ten point deficit for most of the second half. Three pointer on the way short. Rebound Hanky, stolen by Pitts. Got to be strong with the ball. Conrad getting ready to check in for the Huskies at the next dead ball. Pitts has Wagner in size disadvantage. Three ball on the way short. Rebounded by Hanky. Kramer looking up court. Jump stop. Good effort by Kramer there. Had the right idea. Good no call there by the officials. Wagner for three. Just short. That one, that's one that if it falls, another timeout would be for the Ledgers. Timeout Ledgers anyway. Huskies have cut the lead to six, so good job by the Huskies. They had a 14-point uh, halftime deficit. They got it down to six with 10:21 left in the second half. And we've got girls basketball coming up. Um, this one's February 6th, but we've got one before that even. We've got one versus Winnebago Lutheran on Thursday, January 25th. Uh, that's boys basketball. Excuse me. We also have wrestling coming up Thursday. Thursday, January 11th, we had wrestling. I actually watched that the other night. John did a great job with the production. They had two different cameras, one following each map. All right, 10.21 to go, second half. Huskins trail by six. Looking for a defensive stop. <laughs> Springs got their lot of the starters back into the lineup here. Ball for three. Good. Well, when it comes time that they need a bucket, they know where to go to get it. Ball was 16 for St. Mary Springs. Kramer in the lane leaves it to a short rebound ball. Stolen by Conrad. Back to Mo. 
three ball on the way. Good. Anderson hits the three. Quick 6-0 run for the Ledgers after the timeout. Timeout Huskies looking for their own 6-0 run, hopefully coming out. Can't give them any more lead. There's down 12 with nine minutes to go, nine and a half to go. The girls game. The Husky girls are playing very good Howard's Grove squad tonight. They're down 18 to six with under a minute to go in the first half. So apparently the Huskies not not scoring tonight at Howard's Grove. They're looking for something to do after the basketball game tonight. The Wisconsin Badgers game starts at 8 o'clock, so they're just getting underway as well. Springs in a 1-3-1 one, one defense, trapping. Nice skip pass by Kramer. Wagner didn't pull the trigger. Kramer into the lane, down to Bolts. Bolts for two. That's how you break that defense. High post to low post. Huskies cut it to 10. Ball trips, no call. Off the Huskies and out of bounds to St. Mary Springs. Back into the lineup for St. Mary Springs, Lucas and Baker. So the five starters back in for St. Mary Springs. Looking to go the stretch run. Ball right around Conrad, gets fouled by Wagner on the help. They'll go to the line for two. Hankey at the table waiting to check in for the Huskies. Ball hits the first. Hankey replaces Conrad for the Huskies. And Burns also coming in for the Huskies, replacing Schmitz. Oh, Bull makes good on the second. He's got a game high 18. Bolts to the ball stolen by Pitts. And laid in by number 10, John Coon. Huskies turn the ball over. Not quite the right angles positioning out of the double team. Got to make that pass easier. Just a three for the Ledgers. No good. Rebound ball. And then they call the foul on the floor on the Huskies. Be Ledger ball baseline. It's only the fifth foul fall on the Huskies. It's on number five, Caden Bolts, his first. Thank you with another block. Thank you. 
Waltz goes down hard. And gets up and gets the rebound. Good job staying active by Waltz. Gets it up to Kramer. Kramer in the lane for two. No. Rebounded Legends. Baseball pass. Out to for three. Didn't quite get his feet set that time. A foul on the Ledgers. It's only the third team foul on the Ledgers, so Huskies work to do before they get to the line. Stolen by Pitts. Burns back, cuts off the fast break. St. Mary Springs happy to work some clock here. Wagner tried to get the charge, didn't get the call. Leads to a basket by Lucas. And a timeout, Huskies. Huskies need a, another charge. They're down 16 with 6.24 to go. Badgers are down early, 16 to 8 against Penn State. Huskies need to go on a run if they want to get back in the game. In the middle of the bolts, and he's fouled. Fourth team foul on the Ledgers. Number 23, Pitts on the foul, his third. Again, six minutes left, no real foul trouble for either team. Kramer with a dangerous pass all to Wagner. Good help by Springs defense. The Huskies did not get position for a pass off the triple team. Baltz has it stolen. Out to Maul behind his back and stolen by Kramer. Baltz in the post. Goes to work on Pitts. Has an open three look to Spitz. No good. Good shot by Schmitz. Got to take that. Open threes, you got to have. Layup. Legend. Number two, Ben Baker. Waltz again double teamed in the post. Huskies got to figure out how to get an open three out of that double team. Approaching five minutes remaining, second half. Huskies down 18. I believe that's the largest deficit of the night. Out of bounds, be Husky ball baseline. Conrad back into the game for the Huskies with five minutes left. Huskies had cut it to six, but quickly back out to 18 with five minutes remaining. Wisconsin women's basketball team is playing number two in the nation, Iowa, tonight. They're all tied up at 11 with four minutes to go first half. You see some good fundamental basketball. Watch Iowa and Caitlin Clark. Three long by Schmitz, rebound Ledgers. 
skip pass tipped out of bounds by Wagner. Remain ledger ball. Ball down low on the Huskies. We'll send number 10, John Kuhn, to the line. First free throw short. Second free throw on the way and good. Deal by ball. And the travel turns it back over. Huskies having no trouble getting the ball into bolts tonight in the post, but the Ledger's quickly double team when he catches, and the Huskies have not been able to take advantage of that. Ball didn't get the block there, but he influenced the shot and went off the top of the backboard. Now he goes down the lane, misses, rebound bolts. Ball missed the layup on one end and broke up the fast break at the other end. That's an athlete. Husky foul underneath. We'll send Maul to the line for two. Third on Schmitz. Seventh on the Huskies. First free throw is up and good. Burns and Hankey back into the game for the Huskies. Second free throw is good. Three on the for Burns is good. That's a long drought for the Huskies. We were stuck on 42 for quite a while. Ball on Kramer. And that'll send the oh, correction. Violation on the ledgers. Under three to go. Huskies need a pile. Yankee from the elbow. Good. Yankee shooting the ball well tonight. Travel on the ledgers. Ball back to the Huskies. I'm a ledger.
So we got 2.23 to go second half. Huskies trail by 16. Uh, they cut it to six. Ledger's kicked her back into gear and led by as many as 21. Doesn't look like the Huskies are going to end up on top tonight, but keep coming, keep watching. They're getting better every week. Updated scores. Wisconsin women are down 17 to 13. Wisconsin women are down 19 to 15. See if I can find the men's score. Wisconsin men are down 21 to 12 halfway through the first half. So Badgers got a little work to do yet tonight. Here we got 2.23 to go. Huskies trail by 23. Wagner to inbound to Kramer. Burns the three from the corner, a little short. Rebound Hankey, up strong for two. 30 second timeout for Huskies to get Conrad and Schmitz back into the game. Hankey with nine tonight. Good performance on him off the bench. I think Kramer leads the Huskies tonight with 15. Boltz has 12. Hanky 9. So those three players have uh, 36 of the 49 for the Huskies. The ledger ball baseline will probably see some pressure defense from the Huskies for the next two minutes. Ledger spread the court. And the Ledger's toss it away. Almost toss it away. Ledger's playing much wider here with two minutes left. Basically four corners offense, looking for a layup. Smart play by St. Mary Springs coach here. Not a layup or a foul. You're not going to see him shoot. And the Huskies finally take the foul. Send number one, Sam Lucas, to the line for a one and one. Burns and Hankey back in for offense for the Huskies. Free throw long, rebounded by Burns. Tipped out of bounds. The Husky ball, 111 remaining, down 14. Waltz double teamed in the post. I believe they called a jump ball. No foul reported in the table. Pitts now four fouls for the Huskies. Burns for two, no good, rebound Pitts. Pitts up the ball. Smart play pulling it out. Had a driving lane, passed it up, running clock. Huskies foul again, Lucas back to the line. 
Huskies just couldn't get over the hump tonight. They got stuck between 6 and 10 for about 4 or 5 minutes in the second half. And then the Ledgers went on a run and pushed her back out to 21. First free throw on the way for Lucas. No good. Rebound pits underneath. And he puts it back for two. Can't have that. Fundamental defense. Got a box out on the free throw. Especially on a one and one. Hanky has a lane to the hoop. Euro step. And he gets called for the travel. Giannis, that's an and one. High school, that's a travel. Husky's token pressure defense with 20 seconds left. Spring's not running it up. They're just looking to run out the clock. Good sportsmanship here by the Springs coach. And that'll be your final tonight. From the whole team, your final. St. Mary Springs 65. The whole team 49. I'd like to thank our sponsors again tonight, Isaac's Sports Bar, Travis's Turf and Landscaping, and the Holstein Booster Club. All the money they donate goes back to the basketball program. And, you know, from the Holstein tonight, good game. Huskies had a couple nice runs, but Springs had one more run than the Huskies did. At one point, they pushed it out to 21. They end up winning by 15, 16. So that's all I got for tonight. We hope to see you back here next week for the girls game. If you want to be a volunteer broadcaster or a PA announcer, take tickets, sell booster club raffle, lots of places you can volunteer, help out in the community. So that's all we got for tonight. Enjoy the game. Go watch the Badgers. Flip over to the girls game. Husky girls are playing Howard's Grove on W7 Productions on YouTube. Howard's Grove is a really good team. Huskies were playing them 